Guys, um, this is the highlights from GreatStockPicks.com live trading chat room on Monday, October 15th. Uh, I'm going to try to rip through these because i got to run. Um, Direct TV, DTV, uh, down what, five, six days in a row, down to what used to be resistance at 54 area, plus the 100 day. Should have had some price support here. I'll add today's candle and you can see we did get the bounce. How do we do it on an intraday basis? Called it long right there. Um, the entry price 49.96. Worst case stop, 19 cents below. Now I'll take the arrow out of the way and show you what happened. Pretty much grinding higher all day and closing near its highs. Uh, never came close to stopping out. Um, and then you've got the nice green candle today. So uh, anyway, Direct TV moved up about 60 cents in our favor. 19 cents risk. EMN. Another one we had on Bounce Watch. This is what it looked like last night when we sent out the chart. Um, kind of similar to DirecTV, several days down in a row to some price support right in this $54 area. Used to be resistance. Um, overdue for a bounce. I'll add today's candle in. Beautiful bounce there too. How do we do it on an intraday basis? Um, my entry call on EMN was about when it looked like this. Um, long idea, 54.45. There was the trigger right there. Worst case stop, about 31 cents below. Kind of below this whole base to give it some wiggle room. And didn't really need it. Uh, ended up closing very strong as well. Switched to fives there. Um, EMN went from uh, 54.45 uh, up a dollar 30 at its best on um, 31 cents risk. And uh, really, we were never in trouble with this one. Those just grinding higher all day long. Uh, very nice one there too. Um, Verizon. I'll show you Verizon here. Verizon, after the market's been acting the way it has, uh, down several days in a row, it's not uncommon that I would have a bunch of bounce plays on watch. Verizon was another one. You'll notice a pattern here. VZ down five days in a row to the 50-day. Some price support to the left. I'll add today's candle in, and you can see it's got a bottoming tail. Now, how did I play this one um, on an intraday basis? Kind of an interesting one here. I'll switch to two-minute candles. And this is what it looked like eight minutes in. One of our members, Matt G., one of our chat room members, um, kind of drew my attention to this one because on bounce plays we look for a few different things. Verizon was one of the things we look for. Remember, I just showed you the daily chart. It's already down five days in a row to support. Um, when something like that starts tanking right at the open again, here's how I view it. I look at this as the late shorters chasing this short combined with um, longs capitulating. The longs that were in this one from ho however long, right, um, finally given up because it's down so many days in a row. Um, nice volume here too. So my idea was over this candle as a long 43.94 on Verizon, and there's the trigger. Worst case stop below this candle 43.78. So it was only 16 cents risk, and that was the low two minutes of the day. So um, just really picked the bottom clean on that one. Again, there was the entry idea, and there was the stop. And then I'll back this out. It went all the way through the high of the day. I'll switch to fives here so you can see it better. Um, and the entry 43.94 ended up moving up almost 80 cents from there on 16 cents risk without any danger of stopping out. And now you can look at this bottoming tail and say, hey, uh, we call this right here near the bottom of the bottoming tail. So a nice one there too. Um, ZMH, I called ZMH, um, I'll show you real quick and then I got to run here. Uh, right over this candle here. So that was the long and the worst case stop. Uh, very tight right there. Well, I'll give you some numbers. Uh, Zimmer Holdings, 62.61. It went to 63.20 um, something, 63.25 on 16 cents risk. And again, you can see after the entry, never came close to uh, stopping us out. Um, and then as far as the other trades, I think that was mine for the day. Also, BTU um, called it long somewhere in here, killed it somewhere over here like three hours later for the exact same price. So a flat in that one and uh, lost a dime in NIHD. And that was the entire gamut of calls by me for the chat room today. This was the long on NIHD, and this was the stop, and it ended up being a dime loss. So overall, a really nice day. Took some patience, um, but by the end of the day, some of these really gave some nice trades. All right, I'm not going to babble any further. Talk to you guys tomorrow.